Hi everyone, welcome to our fourth day of our 17th week of our daily devotion. And today we'll be listening um, to Brian Kinzel of Grace Bible Seminary uh, of Ukraine. Uh, he'll be reflecting on Genesis 3.15 and the title of today's devotion is Encouragement in Conflict. Genesis 3.15 and I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise you on the head, and you shall bruise him on the heel. And Brian writes, Christians in Ukraine know about spiritual conflict. The evangelical church suffered for many years, first from the oppression under the SARS, yung kalang ruler, yung, uh, spelled as C-Z-A-R, yung kalang ruler. And then under the communists, our first students at the seminary in the 1990s were excited just to study the Bible freely during daylight hours instead of secretly at night. So telling us na prior to the establishment of um, Bible institutes, just like Grace Bible Seminary, hindi sila nakapagbuklat ng mga Biblia nila. They can, they can pero secretly at tuwing gabi lamang because of the persecution that uh, the believers were, were facing under the communist um, uh, government and their ruler. <clears throat> Persecuted believers are encouraged by this verse, knowing that though they might feel vulnerable and weak, their Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has crushed death and provided atonement by His blood. Our enemy, the serpent, who inflicts painful bites is defeated. The verse explains that the conflict that believers around the world experience began at the very dawn of history. Tama po yung sinabi niya. Um, yung Genesis 3.15 is uh, in the context of the fall. Um, and then, magit natin doon yung yung pangusap ng Panginoon Diyos. And in fact, God was talking and addressing Satan, saying, uh, yes, the, the first parents, our first parents, Adam and Eve, fell into sin. But right after the fall, there was already a, a um, message of hope. Kung saan, sabi nga uh, there will be a seed uh, um, from a woman telling us ay, ito yung magkakatawang tao and he will uh, be stricken on the heel hindi siya ganun ka-fatal but this promised one will be um, doing a fatal blow sa serpent and he will crush his head despite the gloomy context in Genesis 3 just like what I said the fall this verse brims with hope it gives the first promise in the Bible that points to Jesus' atonement. Genesis 3.15 is where we first see the gospel. Kung saan ipinangako ang um, pag-asa natin na, na gagapi, tatalo sa um, kapangyarihan na kasalanan at ni Satanas. This verse also gives hope to all believers living in conflict. Whenever we suffer for righteousness, we know that we are on the side of God who put enmity between the, the snake and the woman. Those who suffer reproach for the truth know that the seed of the woman promised a lethal blow to evil. The promised Messiah is from that seed. And ba sabi nga ni, ni Pablo sa Galatians? In the fullness of time, di ba? Um, the Messiah was given, born under, born of a woman, born under the law. To fulfill the law, to live a righteous life, so that his righteousness will be imputed to those who would believe in him. Sabi rito, uh, the closing sentence of Brian says, Let us all remember and be encouraged that the God of peace will soon crush Satan underneath our feet. Um, sigurado, sigurado ang victory ng ating Panginoon he, he was already victorious. Yung sabi nga, o oh, sin, o oh, oh, death, where is your uh, uh, sting? Um, when Jesus rose from the dead, He won over the penalty and the curse and, and the power of death and, and sin. 
and in the eschaton in the last days he he will um <clears throat> uh, make sure na the consummation of this redemptive plan will will come at hand wherein we will see him giving us glorified bodies as he comes back for us and establishes um, millennial reign and ushering us towards the um, towards eternity right so it is encouraged it, it is in, an encouragement para sa atin as we go through conflict right so um, I, I have a heavy heart right now just I just wanted to share with you um, nagre record po ako uh, days advance ng, ng, ng ating devotion kasi marami din po akong ginagawa I need to study for uh, the midweek I need to study for uh, the message on for the Sunday I'm not complaining I love what I'm doing I'm just saying I record a few days in advance and so as I'm writing or as I'm recording this I just got news kasi ipapalabas natin to sa sa fourth day ng devotion natin but I just got news um, that um, remember we've been praying for Kuya Ruel Ona I just got news that he passed away uh, we've been praying for him he has kidney problems and um, uh, I just found out that he passed away and um, if you don't know him he, he I don't think he's a member of the church but he's a regular at church he's he's pretty regular sa midweek nung nagko-congregate pa tayo and sa Sunday naman madalas siya sa hapon and so yeah uh, it saddens me that um, he passed away the the last few um, Wednesdays that I had before I left for the States um, madalas ko siyang nakakausap um, minsan nag-stay pa siya ng mas matagal sa, sa office ko so gabi na kami naghihiwalay and he's just sharing how he's he loves the Lord. So yun, um, I'm just saddened by it. But of course, he, he he no longer is in pain. And of course, alam po, uh, as of this recording, siguro by then you already have known and have heard that our sister Michelle has given birth already to baby Zoe. Let's keep on praying for them. Speedy recovery ni Michelle sa kanyang C section at si Zoe um, let's pray for her uh, I think she requires three um, <clears throat> surgeries para po sa batang ito right so again um, well the encouragement there as we look back to our devotion is that um Victory sa Panginoon Diyos. Um, to those of us who are saved by grace through faith in Christ, if and if we suffer and if and if we lose our life, uh, yung kapangyarihan ng kaaway para lang siyang tuklaw o um, kagat sa heal, but the penalty of sin, the penalty of and the consequence of sin has already been paid for, has already been beaten in Christ Jesus, who crushed the head of uh, the serpent. And that's why, um, although it's it saddens me that Kuya um, Ruel is no longer with us, but um, I'm encouraged that he's no longer in pain. Right? So, pray tayo. Thank you for the gospel, Lord. We're in as early as the the book of Genesis, you have shown us your promise of a Messiah who would be stricken, but in the fatal. Because we've seen, Lord, that Jesus died and but he rose again after three days. So it wasn't fatal, but Jesus, our Messiah, our Lord, has crushed the head of the enemy. There's our comfort when we hear news about friends and, and loved ones who um, pass away. So we pray for um, <clears throat> the family of Kuyarwel Ona. Thank you, Lord, for 
his life. Thank you for the privilege of getting to know him better in our conversations. And uh, we pray that this would bring his loved ones to a realization that um, death is real and it's inevitable. And we pray na sana po, gamitin niyo po ang pagkakataon ito para matungha, matunghayan nila ang Ebanghelyo. And uh, so, Lord, we also thank you for a safe delivery of Michelle. We continue to pray that you'd uh, restore her to full health as she recovers from the C-section. We pray for baby Zoe. We understand, Lord, dun pa lang po sa diagnosis sa kanya. It's uh, pretty scary, but we trust in you. And so, Lord, we ask and cry out for you to just uh, be with this baby. Protect this baby's heart, Lord. Kindly heal her heart and give wisdom, give and provide uh, for their needs if operation indeed is um, needed right away. We pray na sana po bigay yung talino yung mga doctors na mag-check sa kanya and strengthen this baby's body, Lord, para makayaran niya yung surgery. Again, Lord, we rest um, in you. And uh, yeah, we thank you, Lord, that we can depend on you and we can trust you because we, we understand that you are um, the one who um, is the Lord of Lords and our Savior and our King. Thank you for this time. We pray that you'd bless our day ahead of us and um, kindly use us in spite of us to glorify your name. In Christ's most precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you for uh, joining me and I'll see you all um, tomorrow. God bless you.